Happy free card reading Friday, everyone. How are we feeling on this beautiful Friday? I hope that all is well. I can't wait to see all the inspiring souls that are going to join this community. So feel free. We'll give it a moment to settle in. Hello, the mayor of Delray. What's going on? Hi there, Steve. Yes, yes. Hello. What's happening? What's going on? What's what's going on? Hi there, silly giggles. Hi, loves. You and I need to connect more. I had like I'm so excited about all the amazing energy work that you do. Hi there, JBV underscore forever. JBV. Um, what's going on? Hi there, Jenna. Jenna, we need to connect. I know about the Moldavite. That's been like a hot second. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm actually, I might be confusing. It's the wrong Jenna. Sorry. Different Jenna. But yeah. Um, or Gina. Sorry. Uh, starting my job today, trying to figure out what order, what to order for breakfast. Just starting my day. I love that. My Friday is going okay. I am. Thank you for the blue. My hair person, she's amazing, and she uh, always is switching up the rainbow. So she said to me, pink or blue? And I said, blue. Or she said, really, actually, turquoise. It's like a turquoise blue, but yeah, it's blue for all intents and purposes. All right, so I just got off a live on Insight Timer. If you are somebody, uh, we will connect soon, yes. Uh, it's been a crazy couple months. <laughs> I apologize ever since I went to California and came back. But I, I've been thinking about you, actually. Funny enough, Gina, as like I've been thinking about you. But uh, I, you know, um, I have to say that uh, this Friday it's, feels good. Friday is always one of my favorite days of the week. It is connected to Venus, the planet of love. And so I think I just start to feel that energy. I love doing free card reading on Fridays. I also love my Insight Timer community. So like if you are not following me on Insight Timer or even just connected to the app of Insight Timer, I highly recommend it. It's an amazing free app that has tons of resources and different teachers of meditations and Reiki and yoga, just a lot of amazing goodness. So definitely feel free to join that community. I think we had 144 people on there today. So, and they're amazing from all around the world. Hello there, Danny. Hello. How are you loves? Hi there, Lillian. All right. So we're going to just dive in, um, to this free card reading on Friday today. I need to schedule some guests. So I definitely will be having some guests joining me in these upcoming weeks, but for right now, it's going to just be me. So hopefully that will be enough, at least for all of us today. We'll start off with a collective reading. And then, um, if depending on the time, um, I'll try to take on some individuals as well. I miss you too. Uh, I'm, you know, it's so funny. I will say, I think I'm also feeling good this Friday because I allowed myself to receive. I got a healing session yesterday. I did a sound bath with one of my best favorite sound healers and also just friends, amazing soul. So I just am really, really, really uh, feeling like a shift that happened because I, I needed to have that healing. It's like, you know, being a hairdresser and then never getting your hair cut. Um, I practice and I meditate every day and I do Reiki on myself every day. Uh, but I usually don't have the opportunity to necessarily put myself in the receiving end. And I surrendered and I just went with it. And it was amazing. And I really needed it. I've ha I, I get readings and things like that, you know, more often. But I don't typically, I'm very, I'm very specific on who I share energy with in that way. Um, and so I was with some amazing souls yesterday that I truly trust. So... I feel a lot better. Sound is what's up. I mean, I do sound baths, like I perform them, but just want to say that, you know, being on the other side of it, like I was having some really intense back pain yesterday and uh, my back is like fine today and it's like all good to go. After that sound bath, it was like done. Um, Cecilia, oh, my shaman was here and gave me a 90 minute massage and healing and hand pan. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah, love him for you too. What a great soul. Yeah. Amazing. Hi, Cheller. I know that Cheller is also a fantastic, uh, amazing healer that does 
card readings for people on Thursday at 9 a.m., which I wanted to jump on. I was jumping off and on because um, I had some stuff come through. I was hoping to maybe actually get a reading, but it's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cheller. Um, all right, so with that being said, let's actually just tune in. Let's take a little bit of this uh, root chakra energy that I shared with the Insight Timer Collective, and let's share it here. So if you'd like to join me before we kind of get into the cards today, this is a great way to honor the root chakra um, is by connecting with community and connecting with all of the beautiful souls that are in your front row. So thank you for being here. But if you have it available and if not, no worries, I actually would invite you to just get into an easy pose. So I'll give you a moment or so to do so if you can. And if you're driving, that's all right. Or perhaps you don't have it accessible to you. Aww. Beautiful. So just allow yourself to start to settle into the space, to the environment that you are in. And if you are in easy pose, starting to feel the ground beneath you. This is essentially where the root chakra lies at the tip of our tailbone, space of our spine. And this is where Mother Earth connects you. And so right now, just breathing into any heaviness that's not allowing you to be present, just breathing into that heaviness and exhaling that out, just envisioning the ground beneath you, absorbing it, recycling it. Let's do that two more times, breathing into any of that disconnection and exhaling that out into the ground, letting Mother Earth comfort you, breathing into anything that's not making you feel safe this time. And just surrendering that into the ground. Breathing into any beliefs that perhaps you're holding on to that are no longer yours and helping you to feel strong and empowered. And just breathing into those beliefs and exhaling and envisioning them going into the ground to be recycled and renewed. And just taking a moment and just breathing in, recycle, and exhaling out, renew. And just receiving a little bit of some Reiki energy love before we get into this card pull and collection of community and love. So breathing in, recycle, exhaling out, renew. And just feeling that grounding, that shift before we start to tune in to the sacred energy of this community. Breathing in, recycle. Exhaling out, renew. Taking one more breath, recycle, and exhaling out, renew. And now whenever it feels divine, you can start to bring the awareness back into your body, beginning to open your eyes and get ready to receive.
I feel so much more grounded now before we start this uh, card reading. So I hope that that served you in your highest self. All right, we're gonna go with it. That was just one that came through. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hi, Cecilia, how are you, loves? All right, this is interesting. <laughs> this is the first card that we pulled. <laughs> I cleanse to clear, potential navigate, frog and solar plexus energy. Um, wow, recycle and renew, recycle and renew, that's Essentially, the frog is just coming to remind us of that. You know, I think that we are in this new space where a lot of us have been doing a lot of heavy lifting for quite some time. And I think that now we're starting to see the shift of like renewal and a little bit of rejuvenation. And so that's really where the frog is coming through. But I would, I would invite you to be super gentle and super... Um, soft and slow with yourself at this time. It doesn't have to look forceful into this renewal, right? It doesn't have to look like, okay, I've cleansed all this stuff and so now I'm ready to join. Hi there, Allie. Now's really the time for us to renew, but in a place that feels grounded, in a place that feels um, present. And it doesn't have to look so far out into the future. So first off, just honor yourself. Honor how much you have recycled honor how much you have cleansed um so just know that like you're healing you're clearing it to heal it clear it to heal it right and so right now we are healing it but it might not look as fast as it has in the past and that's okay so if that resonates with you let me know because that's totally speaking to me it's like okay like this is the time for us to be gentle with what that renewal process looks like um, what Chiller said, Chiller said, thank you. I legit sat in the middle of the, uh, of the men's section of Target to receive that beautiful light. I love you, Chiller. And this is where you start to just become, you know, Chiller's an amazing medium and Reiki practitioner and crystal shop. And, you know, this is like where you start to just like own your woo. You get to just like empower it wherever it is, you know, meditation and these, you know, beautiful different spiritual tools like crystals, all that stuff. It doesn't have to look like this dedicated time out of our life right? Life is happening. It's unfolding, but it's creating these gem moments where we just get to cleanse, to clear and gain that clarity. I'm Allison from David G teacher training. Welcome. Are you, um, Allison from, um, I think you just ordered a Malachite if I could be right, right or wrong. Right. Uh, but are you new? Cause we have some new people. I actually did a, uh, I was a guest teacher for David G's teacher training. So there are some new followers. So let's welcome them into this beautiful community. So welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. And now, ooh, yes. Okay, good. You're going to enjoy your note. Hopefully you'll get it soon. That was a beautiful piece of Malachite, FYI, but moving on. Okay. Thank you so much for your support and abundance. So we're cleansing and we're renewing. And when we are renewing, this is like what's about to come. I'm really kind of feeling like this... Um, shift of energy of like this is like kind of looking like where we are now and where we're going that's where it kind of feels like you're welcome to the most loving community by the way hey mom as i say this my mom joins um yeah anybody who's new here welcome 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 it's such an honor to have you here and you're in such a safe space with some of the most amazing souls so welcome so my creativity awaits imagination flow seal and sacral chakra I actually was feeling this yesterday. I don't know if anybody else was, but I had been working on my Reiki masters training and I have, to be honest with you, I've been feeling very uninspired lately, very unmotivated to just even get out there and connect and be on social media. And I just, you know, I've been going through, I'll be honest with you, some really intense diagnoses with a uh, one of my favorite beings and family members on this planet. So I've been a little bit in and out but yesterday I felt this like shift of, um, of creativity. And so that's where I really think that this Virgo season is leading us to, which kind of starts actually next week, is this energy of like, okay, now we get to ground. And really right now we're also in Jupiter 
in retrograde, which is about this inner expansion. So now is the time for us to really get back to creative projects that perhaps we put on pause, that we get to start again, to let us to be in the flow of it. Because right here, the word is flow, right? And so it's about being in the flow, not forcing the creativity, not, you know, not, uh, not, you know, trying to like fixate on it, but it's really just kind of more of like this energy of like my imagination, you know, like letting it lead you to this kind of space. So take time for creative endeavors, take time to perhaps come back to the drawing board of projects that maybe you put on pause or that maybe that you've always said that you want to do and that you haven't really done them, but let it be from the space. that's not forced. Does that make sense? Let me know if that's resonating for that. Um, felt like that too yesterday rebirth. I, I'm literally lurking on a project I put to the side of wall. We're all in this. Yeah. I felt the urge to come back to it today. That was like me yesterday. Hi there, written by Murphy. Um, my mom said that she's so honored to be a part of everyone's energy and insight. Love you, mom. Um, so that's kind of like where, where we're going. We just started to see this now, and now we're like really kind of going there. Oh. Spirit speaking on the truth today. Loud and true. So really, though, too, gosh. I needed to hear this. <laughs> I, I feel like this is a collective reading, but also such a personal reading. So if you're also feeling like this, let me know. Because what we have here is I trust what's ahead. Explore perseverance, camel and sacral chakra. So really, this is such a time for us to remind ourselves of this. You know, I did a post yesterday about transformation and it was what I was downloading during a meditation. I downloaded all of the different, um, insights and kind of put it into a reel. And the thing about transformation where it's really so challenging is because we don't see the outcome, right? When we're in it, we are just in it and we're experiencing it and we're feeling it and it can be really difficult and it can be really overwhelming. But most of the time we look back on it and we say, oh my gosh, thank goodness I did that thing. Or I'm so proud of myself. I accomplished that, right? And so that's really what the energy of this card is speaking to. So if you're in any type of transition, any type of transformation in your life, or you are in this flow of creating something new, now is the time to trust what is ahead. Explore, bring your perseverance, bring that sense of strength. And really what I would say for you to explore would be the insight that I shared yesterday. You know, how does, you know, me, and I'm just kind of like going to like recap this all here. How does me, you know, cleansing everything from the past really help me to explore my potential, right? With the frog. How does me, you know, um, you know, kind of trusting what's ahead, allow me to be more in flow versus more in control. Because when this is sacral chakra energy, the camel sacral chakra, when we're out of alignment in our sacral chakra, we are not being in flow. We are, it's the element of water. And what's interesting about the camels is that they can actually travel for thousands of miles without any water. And so it's allowing ourselves to, even if the journey seems a little bit longer, maybe if it doesn't seem like things are exactly working out the way that we thought that they would, which when does it ever, right? But that knowing that we have enough in us to really kind of keep exploring and persevering. And then we get into the final card, which you just can't make this up. I trust myself, confidence, self-assurance. I really feel like I keep getting the word November, that by November, there's going to be this shift of us like kind of going through all of this cleansing and clearing, being in our creative flow and our imagination, trusting that process of creation, leads us to here. I really feel like we are going to enter a more confident sense of self coming towards the holiday end of the new year. Um, and this is the heart chakra. And what I'm getting is because what I kind of noticed about 2022 is that we all entered this year a little bit shaky. Like we weren't exactly sure what was gonna happen. We all were like, yay, 2021 is gonna be in it. And then we kind of were like just disappointed. There were so many different things happening. And so we entered 2022 with not feeling a lot of confidence, right? You saw so many different posts on social media. And so I think that this is going to be a shift kind of starting in November 
going into 2023 that we have more confidence that it's not really about our outside environment it's about the self-assurance that we get to carry within our hearts so where we're going is leading us to this place okay of really self-authority confidence but feeling it in our heart feeling it in the relationship center that is connected to ourselves so any questions here, I'll do a recap, but anything that anybody wants to share, that totally resonated with me. I don't even know. I, that, and I also feel like because we're in this like transformation space right now, that to get the Moose's card right after it is really kind of telling me that like what I was saying, you know, earlier about transformation, how sometimes it's, it can be challenging because we don't see, you know, the end results while we're in it, that I really feel like the end result is going to actually bring so much more confidence in the choices that we made of investing in it. Yeah. I love that reading. I, I selfishly feel like that was for me, but also probably for everybody here, right? Because it is a collective community reading, but I personally need to hear those messages. Anything that anybody wants to share before I start to take some questions. This resonates a lot with me currently. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm so here for that. Yeah. All right, so backing it up, here we are, I cleanse to clear, potential, navigate, frog, and solar plexus chakra. So right now we're cleansing a lot of our self-doubts, a lot of our self-worth, a lot of our you know things that perhaps don't resonate with confidence. We're cleansing a lot of that energy and we have. And so right now we're in the clearing stage where like things are starting to seem more clear. Um, and we are in this renewal stage, but it's not about forcing the renewal. It's not about necessarily it having to look super fast, but really kind of more in the space of like, you've cleansed, you've healed a lot. So now you get to navigate within that self-confidence, within that self-assurance, but in a way that really kind of speaks more to a slower pace, not forcing it because then we have my creativity awaits. So right now is a time as a collective to perhaps get back to the drawing board, come back to projects that you've put off, uh, perhaps create new projects and be in the flow of them. Once again, don't force it, but just be in the flow of it. And then we have here is trusting in the transformation that you are in right now. I trust in what's ahead, perseverance, explore. So know that even if it takes a little bit longer or if it's not looking, you know, as you, you know, perhaps you thought that it would, it's okay. You get to just say to yourself, I trust what's ahead. Uh, because where we're ultimately landing on, and I said like November ish, which we always have free will, right? Um, I trust myself, really, we're going to trust in the choices that we're making and we're gonna trust in the healing that's for us. We're gonna kind of enter the end of this year going into this new year in a way more confident, connected place that really aligns to our hearts. Yeah, find, hello there. All right, um, so I think I have definitely some time here if anybody has anything that they want to ask or share. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and take some questions. Wow, these are all themes that popped up and I reflected on during the Lionsgate portal. I love that. S C J V. Love that. Mm hmm. I feel like we had a lot of, um, we had a lot of ascension, ascension, ascension that we felt this week a little bit drained even going into the week, but then more grounded now than we did perhaps before. All right, so we have here from Cecilia, another amazing soul and Reiki practitioner. Love you. Starting a new big project today. What do the cards have for me? Kelsey, Kelsey, I thought about you today. I totally need to connect with you, but I've been wanting to like give you your space as like being a new mom. Love you. Kelsey is the beautiful artist of this deck. <laughs> you ready? You're not ready for it, Cecilia. I choose love over fear, miracles, growth, butterfly and crown chakra. And so really this is your time, Cecilia, to think about how you want to energetically enter this 
project, okay? Am I going to enter it from doubt, hesitation, or do I really want to enter it with clarity? With knowing that my highest self and highest wisdom is what brought me to this moment. Because really, you've been nurturing this for a long time. Whether you're even consciously aware of it, you've been nurturing what you're about to enter into to then morph into this beautiful butterfly. And so right now, it's about being in a miracle mindset. How can this project bring miracles to not only your life, but to all of those around you? And I think that the more that you start to really tap into that space, because that's where I see this project going, is that it's a big project that is going to really impact a lot of other people and a lot of other people's lives. And so that's where you get to really think about the miracles that this project is going to bring and shower them with. Um, and you definitely have a very, this is really interesting, you have a very strong female that's coming through. Um, it feels like, you know, like perhaps like an older woman, like a grandmother or sorts, but coming in like, and just like, it's just like, it's like honoring the sweet nature in yourself. Um, and just know that like you're so being held with so much love in this space. So I hope that that serves you well, Cecilia. Please feel free to put in the comments. Hi there, Amber. Okay. Let's see. All right. I would love a card. Any message is fine. I love you, Steve. You're like just so easygoing. You're like, any message is fine. All right, let's 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 pull you though a message. Well, it's, I'm just gonna feel called to, I kind of peaked, but I was like, this is one is for Steve. Uh, love this, my grandmother probably, I'm starting this project with love and hope. Yeah, uh, she, it, it's, <sighs> what a sweet soul. Just, ah, uh, she has the same sweetness that you have. That not maybe everybody sees, but you know, um, in the like, in the way of like, that's like really super and sacred. Um, and so I think that she, just sees that tenderness in you and is encouraging you to like run through that within this project. So love you. Yeah. I love this. I'm starting this project with love and hope. Yeah. And then that's where, when you're so intentional, that's where you just get to keep coming back to that. Yeah. Okay. So Steve, I give myself permission, truth, opportunity. I think that you're seeing, and I know a little bit about kind of some things that are going on. Um, I think that this is a divine time for you, Steve, is to like really get to the truth of like what it is that you want and moving forward and getting super clear because when the ladybug's energy comes through, it's really kind of knowing that you know what's best for you. One more time. You know what's best for you. And really honoring that. That's a really hard I think a uh, truth to even know because so much we look outside of us, but I think you've done so much self discovery that I think you really can resonate with that message and knowing that luck is on your side. So right now, really getting clear, how do I want to move forward physically? How do I want to move forward uh, energetically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, really work within those different org bodies uh, because luck is on your side. And I think that the more that you get to the heart of your truth, the more that that will then ripple for whatever the next journey looks like to come back to you. So just give yourself permission though to move forward and give yourself permission to most importantly honor your truth. All right. Um, for anybody who is commenting here in the comments um, and you want a message, please feel free to put it in the questions because otherwise it gets lost in the comments. So I won't be able to get to you unless you put it into the comments. I mean, sorry, not comments. The questions, not the comments. Thank you for your love and all of that that beautiful love and, and even wanting to share energy with me. Um, okay. But yes, otherwise it gets lost. Okay. All right. And I kind of go in order here. So does spirit have any messages advice for me, Joe? Well, I just felt called to just not even shuffle the card, but just pull this one because it was left there. Um, yeah. Joe, this is the time for you to own your uniqueness. My expression is unique. Individuality, essence, rooster and throat chakra. So right now, I would invite you to not hesitate of saying, well, who am I to do this? Or am I good enough? Or am I learned enough? Or am I skilled enough? Like there's this kind of like 
self little sabotage that's still lingering. Um, and it might not be really lingering right now, but it might start to linger as you continue to move forward in this project that you shared later. And so like really right now is a time to really get clear of like, what is my skill set? What am I really truly good at? What is it that I do that is so unique unlike anybody else. How do I really make people feel? How do I wish to make people feel in what I'm pursuing and moving forward? Because, you know, I keep getting drawn to the the solar plexus chakra energy that Kelsey totally put into this without, I, I mean, I think intentionally or unintentionally, I'm sure it was intentional, um, that it's like, this is a sense for you to like be in the action. And, and what I sense is that in the past, you start something, but then you stop because the confidence perhaps kind of starts to dwindle and so this is where hang on to that rooster's energy saying this mantra, my expression is unique. My expression is unique. And that's going to help you to continue to move forward. So start to get really clear on that spiritual homework of what that looks like for you. Okay. Um, you also have a really strong male guide that's coming through that is just really wanting, like, that's just wanting you to like toughen up. Like, I don't know if there was somebody tough that like has passed on that's a male, but, um, th that they're, they're, they're like, it's, it's, it's good for you to be bold. Like, go be bold. You got this, Joe. All right, we'll go to now the next one, which is, okay, I kind of got lost here because it starts to go, okay, there we go. Got it. All right. Uh, hello there, Lee, LA Diamonds. I always say Lady Diamonds. <laughs> LA Diamonds. Uh, want to connect with spirit. Why do I feel like Rocket's a part of this reading? This is interesting. This is interesting, Cheller. I feel like this is a two-parter. It's a two-parter. It's cool. Um, okay, so... <laughs> of course it is. So your first card that you got here is, I create what best serves me. Illusions birth. And so I think that... Whew, you are in this place, and I saw your post about the sunflower. You're in this place where you're like really starting to... What I would say is like, oh, don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody else out there. In the most amazing way, I said this with love. Like you are learning how to tap into spirit in a way that's very intimate and that's very specific to you, right? You having that intuitive hit to connect with the sunflower was just something that felt fluid and free, okay? Not controlled, not forced, which are all the different ways of where we're out of alignment in our, uh, our sacral chakra. But like you are learning how to birth this very intimate relationship with spirit. So what I would invite you to do is like to really get super intentional of like just letting it flow through you. And if you start to get into the space of like, well, I don't know. I don't know if that message is really a message or is this spirit like to kind of like move through some of those illusions and know that you are in this place where you are birthing something that is very special in the way that you're going to connect in the way that you're going to channel in the way that you're going to help others to do the same that is unique to you. And I've said this to you before in a past reading of you being a teacher of something in this way of like this intuitive energy, because what we have here is I carry hope, light new beginnings. So right now, what I would invite you to do, Cheller, is to journal. Journal different ways of how you're connecting with spirit, how you're starting to sense and really kind of feel the energy because I think that you're gonna really help others to do the same. And I see here light new beginnings. There's new beginnings of you journaling and being your own workshop to then create that workshop for others to also to do the same. But this connection is very intimate and very sacred for you. And that's why I'm saying don't listen to me or anybody else you know, out there of like how to channel and how to do things because you're they're gifting you something very big. Almost like with me with like animals, there's a gift that's happening for you. I hope that that makes sense. Yes, don't listen to me. At least I keep it like real. Heart and Soul Studios. Hello there, loves. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, Amber, are you still here, Amber? Let's make sure you're still here. Dun, 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 dun. You're still here. How is Guatemala, my loves? Anybody, if you're not following Amber, she's an amazing soul. She is my favorite yoga teacher. I'm going to say that. She is. <sighs> I feel like this is a two-parter too. Actually, wait, hold on. I forgot. It goes out of the car. Duck. There we go. Yeah, right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, go first with this one. Okay, here we go. So I stand in my power. Okay. Uh, boundaries, authority, bear 
and solar plexus. Well, maybe you don't have to leave. Maybe you just stay in Guatemala. Um, honestly, I mean, I miss you, but I love you. Boundaries, authority. Uh, and I think that you are learning boundaries within yourself. Yeah, you're learning how to stand up in your self. You really are. And you're learning how to navigate within those boundaries. And I think about the bear, like it does have to hibernate. And I think right now you're kind of hibernating and you're creating, if you will, the rule book um, of what it looks like to engage with Amber at the highest frequency. Okay. I think that in your experience and everything that you've gone through recently, there has been this sense of like, well, how do I really kind of like own myself and how do I get to really allow others to enter into that space? And so right now, creating the rule book of how others get to love you and how you get to exchange energy with them is really super important. And then we have here too is bringing in balance, grounding, flexibility. So just kind of knowing that right now, I feel like this is like, in this journey of boundaries is that things may not necessarily look so black and white. There's flexibility and there's room to shift, but it's knowing this first to be able to say, am I willing to take this on? Does this bring me bounds? Does this bring me peace? Does this bring me closer to what it is that I ultimately want to build? Because here we have root chakra about building, but being grounded, right? And so I think that you can be flexible with these boundaries once you get clear of what they look like first. So let's get the clarity first. Then we can open up to see how others kind of work within that space. I hope that that serves you well. Yeah, because then it will be so clear for you. It'll be so clear. There won't be any, you know, thoughts. Okay, a message to guide us in the current energetic climate. I love you, Kelsey. Kelsey is the artist of this deck. We love you, Kelsey. Thank you for creating this amazing deck. Is Kelsey still here? Kelsey is still here. Yes. Okay, great. All right. Kelsey, I love us so much right now. Like this is like, this has been like years in the making come to life. And I already like have been writing down animals for like the expansive deck. I'm just saying. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So this is interesting. This is your question for us. So I reach for my higher self, perspective and faith, koala and crown chakra. And so I think that right now, a lot of us um, have been being hard on ourselves, judging ourselves way too much, just as a collective. That now is the time, I shared this on my insight timer and it feels appropriate with the trees and the koalas climbing up the trees, is that you know we don't just plant things from the air, okay? We plant things from the ground. And so the thing is, is that we can move to that space of higher self once the energy is grounded. So I reach for my higher self perspective of faith is really kind of saying like, how do I wish to have a new perspective? How do I wish to really exercise my faith at this time? Uh, because the koala bears, what they do is they climb to the top of the trees. But what I'm really feeling as a collective right now with the message that you're saying is that in order to climb to that top of those trees like the koalas do we have to ground first and that's grounding in a new perspective and that's grounding in new faith okay and so right now take a inspiring insight from the koala as to how you can do that for you now the other thing too is that the koala bear it is a sign that detoxification might be a good thing for us to do right now that could be a new healthier eating pattern that could be detoxifying thoughts that limit you in this new grounding of perspective and faith that could be with different people circumstances but ultimately where we're getting is with the koala bear but i feel like we're not there just yet and so right now is the time though to ask those two questions how do i want to get grounded in a new perspective and how do i want to get grounded in more faith hello there count mama hello there lovely soul yes um, Ikaru, you're welcome to join. I tried to hit you up earlier. I don't know what was happening, but I tried to have you join this live. I love you. I'm always like, Ikaru, come on. He's like, no. Um, okay. There we go. We have here Danielle. Hello there, loves. Okay. Danielle. Danielle and Kelp Mama, you guys are going to meet each other for Reiki level two. Uh, I'm open to receive any message from the universe today. Well, you got it. Dun, 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 dun. Always putting Ikaru on the spot. 
Okay. Dun, dun, dun. So this is interesting. And I know that you shared a lot of different things of what's kind of been coming to the surface for you. And I think that this is a future card for you, Danielle, of where you're going. My creativity awaits imagination and flow. And so right now, I would invite you to really tap into that word imagination. Imagine yourself in your purpose. Imagine, well, you have time to get camera ready if you feel like it. Imagine yourself in your healing art space. What does it look like? What does it feel like? I think that you're navigating so many of the other relationships outside of you that right now is a time to not get hard on yourself if you're not going for it completely. But actually right now is a time for let it to be the thing that inspires you in the most creative, highest vibration, which is just imagining it. Imagining what it looks like. And I think that the more that you start to crystallize into what that looks like, it's going to feel less heavy in the situations that you're in because you're going to be able to really kind of project where it is that you get to go, okay? And the desired outcome of what that energetically feels like for you because you've done so much transformation and shifts that now is a time to really just like now be in the forward movement of what the what it looks like but without giving yourself too much pressure of not one more time without giving yourself not too much pressure for perhaps not being in the full flow and force of it because you are and i love it because it's like my creativity awaits it's awaiting for you it's here it's already arrived but it's not letting yourself get caught up in that frequency i hope that that serves you well danielle let me know in the comments um okay jenna or gina why do i always do that because it's like i always get confused on that sorry loves uh making sure that you're still here all right we'll come back because oh yeah you are here gina okay there we go um so have i made the right decision with my kids to school it's been a week of mixed feelings guilt for our decisions any messages from spirit? Spirit's already saying like, yes, like trust the process. Um, it kind of goes back to that collective message that we got that like, it may not like look like what we thought that it would. Uh, hi there, Spaz Creative. Um, but it will end up looking like something really good is what I'm hearing. It's like, it may not look really good like right now in this moment, but the ultimate, it's like there is going to be a sense of shift um, I don't know if they're having like maybe a little bit of a harder time with like friends or things like that. That's what it kind of feels like. Uh, but there will be a shift and it will be really good and they'll even feel really good about it. It just might not be maybe be right now in this moment. Um, and I would really invite you to like, like examine, like, where is that guilt coming from? Because I feel like it's, it's, it's you being hard on yourself. Kind of seems to be this collective message today. Hippie chick seven. Yeah, this is interesting. The, you can't even make this up. Okay, Gina, you can't make this up. Here we go. There's power in my choices. Journey, freedom. You made a powerful choice. You made a powerful choice to ultimately for everybody to feel more free. And this is coming from your heart. And so right now, you, you might be feeling a little bit of that guilt because that's where we carry our guilt is in our heart chakra. But trust that there is power in your choices. The more that you actually start to fuel of like, I made a decision that came from the heart. I made the decision to come from the, from the heart. And I trust that this is the desired outcome because what we have here is I trust the process. <laughs> you can't make this up. By the way, I love my card deck. I'm not gonna lie. I love my card deck. Uh, fortune, patience. Well, it's Kelsey and I's deck, but I love our deck, Kelsey. Uh, crane and crown chakra. And so like, like I said, I'm getting the sense of that right now. There might be a little bit of struggle, but where it's actually ultimately going is really great because we have here fortune and patience. And so whenever the crane's energy comes through, it's like, okay, yeah, but when? That's kind of like the energy here, but it will. And so right now I trust the process and really trust in your choices. You know, envision your kids coming home feeling starting to feel like better and better about where they are each day like start to really kind of put that energy out there because you have a powerful choice that you've made but that you get to continue to fuel in your heart from the highest vibration of love by really envisioning it for them so i hope that that serves you well yeah um okay that couldn't have been more spot on i swear 
Um, okay, we have here, let me just make sure that they're on. Yes, Nicole, welcome. Nicole, it's your birthday. It's my birthday today. Any message that will best serve me this year? Everybody, can we all just say happy birthday to Nicole? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, Nicole. Take a deep breath in with me, all right? This is going to be for the year ahead right here. Mm. It's kind of a funny message for the year ahead, but I'm into it. I get to be still, trusting, pace, sloth, and third eye. So Nicole, I feel like in the past, you have been going, 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 going. Um, and like now is the year where you get to be. You get to be and you get to receive more trust in yourself, more trust in your choices and the direction of where you're heading. Because I think that you've done a lot of shedding, if you will, of um, releasing constrictions, releasing patterns or behaviors that perhaps were not speaking to your expansion. And so you've done so much of that, that now is the time this year to trust in, okay, where you are headed in that intuitive energy. This is a good year for you to really kind of tap into that third eye chakra with meditations, with um, allowing yourself to really lean into that inner guidance, that intuition, which I know that I love what Icarus says, tuition, education, inner education. So I get to be still. So really kind of letting things reveal themselves to you, letting things play out, not feeling like you have to force them and really letting go of these patterns that you have from the past. You're stepping into a really expansive space and it might look like the sloth energy, very slow moving, but it's the perfect, most divine pace for you to continue to shed and for you to continue to really grow. And so I hope that that serves you well, Nicole. Um, you also have a strong female energy that's coming through that just is sending you so much love and, and just is almost like on the other side of this for you where like the flowers are. It's like, this is where you're ultimately heading it. It's just, this is a, and savor every moment. Savor every moment of this year for yourself uh, and just know that you're in the divine alignment of timing of all of it to really bloom and unfold because it's going to and I want to honor you because you've done a lot of shedding and releasing so I hope that that serves you well Nicole hello there dark rainbow uh, dark rainbow healing hello there loves okay we have here all right what's going on here um, okay so we have from Adele, four, two, three. Oh, I just had some technical issues because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Adele, Rachel, what's going on? All right, so, hi. Does Spirit have any advice for me about this coming month? Um, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. I wonder who that female is too. Beautiful energy. Um, how, hi, hi, does the Spirit have any advice for me about this coming month? Of course they do. Of course they do, Rachel. Let's see. All right. <laughs> this is funny for you because we pulled this in the beginning for the collective. I cleanse to clear, potential navigate. Okay, one thing that I didn't mention about the frog, but seems very much for you, Rachel, is this, is that the frog, once they clear all of the stuff that no longer, okay, aligns their personal power, they are able to really fully embrace of how to navigate for themselves on a physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual wellness auric alignment, okay? And so right now, I invite you, Nicole, that every time you cleanse something, I invite you to ask yourself, how does this make me more powerful in this area of my life? Mm. Every time you clear something, to really kind of get to the opposing energy of where it shifts you into more of your potential because where you're headed this month is starting to cultivate that potential. You're not necessarily in the full action of it, but you will be towards the end of this month. You really will be, but right now it's getting super, super clear of just that, 
of how you can really kind of own your personal power and your strength and kind of keep being in the action of what it is that you desire because you're so working on self and you're in such a self-discovery journey. And so this is where you get to really look at and examine that of how that kind of shifts you into your most powerful place. Because if you thought that it was gonna be good, it's gonna be even that much more uh, expansive, even that much more potent when you really allow yourself to be in that energy. So I hope that that serves you well, Rachel. Um, if you can, Murphy, put a question into the, uh, to the question box here. That's how I'm taking them, if that's okay. Um, SCJV, have been trying to see clarity around moving past the stuck feeling, uh, specifically outside of work career. Any message for me? Okay, moving past the stuck feeling specifically, okay work or career all right let me know rachel if that serves you well yeah this is it okay i move forward <laughs> nurture passionate you know and this is really getting super clear because it's passionate kangaroo or heart chakra kangaroos can't move backwards they can only hop forward okay and so really this is your decision scjv obviously um that really you get to say to yourself like i don't want to move back right and so every time you start to feel stuck start to think of it as how is that holding you back how is that moving you backwards to really where it is that you get to go because you're gonna be moving forward when you allow yourself to move forward and so right now a lot of the stuck feeling it feels very real it feels um it almost like what i keep feeling is like this anxiety, right? Uh, this angst. And really what that is, is like, you know, anxiety is clairvoyance acting in the lowest vibration. So it's like you are predicting or like you're saying all these different things of what would happen if you were to perhaps move forward. That is just these predictions that are actually not even true, that are not in the highest vibration. And so right now, you just can't move backwards. You get to move forward, but it's letting yourself really kind of think about that and get super clear on that. Like every time I keep myself here, where does that move me back to? Uh, because you've, you already know you've done so much of the inner work and it's been heavy lifting for your heart. It's been heavy lifting. You've invested a lot into this like whole work and career situation. And so that's where like you're, you're predicting even that much heavier of like the undesired outcomes because of how much you've invested into the current situation. But really know that this is not even just about you moving forward. It's about you moving forward within your heart and, and, and feeling more light and also feeling like more of like what lights you up, passionate. Right, so the kangaroos, they carry their little babies in their pouch and help them to move forward. And so it's like, what do you truly wish to carry to move forward with? Because you're holding on to a lot of heaviness that isn't even yours, that is your environment, okay? And you get to shift the game. You get to shift the narrative. So this is a game changer for you. So I hope that that serves you well, SCJV. Hello there, Erica. Okay, uh, okay. Silly giggles, and then I think I might have to bounce after this because I have a couple, like, here's I'll try to get through, but would love a card reading. Silly giggles. Okay. Uh, all right. Wait. Silly giggles. I'm trying to put you on here. All right. Let me just make sure that you're here. I try to, like, make sure to honor everybody that is not still here that pulled a card. She's still here. Yes. Silly giggles. Okay. A look beyond the facade. Instincts, attention. Ooh. I really feel like you're leveling up in your intuition, which I know is something that you kind of shared, but I really feel like for you, um, ah, <laughs> so great. So great. Um, I really feel like you're leveling up. And so right now is a good time for you to pay attention to your intuitive hits. I would even invite you right now. So the giggles to create almost like a little library of intuitive hits that every time you see watermelon, it means this. Every time you see strawberries, it means this because 
there is, and, and I would invite you to like, I love what it says, like look beyond the facade. Cause it's looking up beyond the facade of like how maybe Google defines the spiritual meaning of that thing or how others define, you know, mediumship or whatever that is. It's looking beyond the facade of this and starting to create your own index of these different um, hits and instincts that you are getting. Uh, because I think that you are creating an even more cohesive system of how you are providing for others. Um, I sense that right now you work with perhaps people that you really know and that really trust you, but I feel like that's about to expand and kind of get to like this really kind of cool area where it's even bigger of like people who don't really know you, but have just heard about you or a friend of a friend has told you about them. Like things are expanding for you. And so it's really important right now to own your intuition that is for you. Okay. And look beyond the facade of anything like that. And I kind of said that to Cheller uh, earlier, but this is kind of also, I think coming through for you in a different way of like, just what you're, is, what you're receiving and really making sure that you're recording it. Uh, and, and because your instincts are, your instincts are just always right, which I know that sounds like funny to say that, but, um, I think I feel what I'm getting is I'm feeling so much energy in your gut that I feel like when you start to connect with spirit, like you just feel it so much in your gut. Like I'm like, like I can feel how you get these hits and they're super strong. Wow. They are super, super strong. So pay attention to them. Um, yeah, pay attention to them. Something else they say about the links is that sometimes when it shows up, somebody might have just told you a secret or is about to tell you a secret. So just kind of know that like this is a good time to just kind of manage that energy as well if you are hearing any of that. Hi there, hair of the Brooklyn way. People love the hair. Thank you, my loves. We love you. Uh, let me know if that resonated, silly giggles. Okay, moving on to, okay, hippie. Uh, Jess, I, it must, must have been meant to be. When I opened your live, I heard my name clearly, Gina. I tried again, same thing. That's amazing. Uh, I love that. Do you have a message regarding my relationship with my 21-year-old daughter? I'm going to say one thing. One thing is this. Right message, right message, right messenger. Wait, right message, right messenger, right time. Okay? Sometimes when we're trying to come through and connect with our loved ones or family, we have to understand that we may not be the right messenger because we're their mom or we're their daughter or we are their brother, whatever that is. Message, meaning like the right time, the right message. Like, like have you ever gone through that where you're like, I just basically said the same thing and you're like, and somehow they resonated with the way that that person said it, that's the right message. And right time, meaning that they're in the mood to shift. Like those are the three components to really kind of shifting any type of relationship. Hi there, pagan, modern. Hello there, loves. Um, this is a beautiful soul who I got a reading from a couple weeks ago and I wanted to get another one. I'm sorry I didn't follow up, but amazing soul. Definitely check out this beautiful soul and her readings and her offerings. She's fantastic. Okay. Um, all right, are you ready for this, hippie chick seven? <sighs> we are strange right now. I stand in my power, boundaries, authority. You know, boundaries are really hard, especially with family. They really say that like if you struggled with boundaries, and I think that she's even learning boundaries within herself. I feel like she's kind of maybe more on the opposite spectrum where maybe she has to shut you out because she feels like she's standing in a boundary where she hasn't yet been able to articulate and learn how to perhaps like soften some of those boundaries. And then you are really trying to like, you know, come through and that's pushing her to even almost force it more. And so what I would invite you to say to yourself is, you know, where can you have where can you respect that she's just in a journey of discovering boundaries right now? This does not feel like permanent. This is a situation that just feels like harsh and hard at this time. Like this like wall being up and then you, you know, coming through at the wall. And every time you come through for the wall, it just enforces her to kind of build it stronger. And so this is where you have to just really, oh, this is so hard because you're taking it so personal. Um, yeah. Oh, so sweet. I'm Anne. But Rachel, it says Rachel on your thing. And I was like, I pretty, pretty much thought this was Anne Dell. <laughs> it's 
Lisa from New York, but it said Rachel on my thing, so I guess it was meant to be. That's amazing. That's so awesome. I love that, Anne. So good. I was like, that's pretty much Anne Dell, but for whatever reason, it was saying that. Yeah, I had to set boundaries with her, and now I see her perspective. Yeah, so she's, you know, now kind of, you know, so it's like, it's just, it's just this journey of boundaries, you know? Um, like I said, I don't think that this is going to last forever. And what I really, really would invite you to do, because a lot of the times when we're in these situations, we feel so much out of control. And so what I would say is hippie chick, uh, is that to really, um, to really almost manifest, okay? This is a solar plexus card for you, okay? So you can manifest from your sense of self of seeing her coming around, seeing her lessen that wall, seeing her need her mom. We all need our mom, you know? I mean, I need my mom, so maybe I'm just speaking. Maybe we all don't need our mom, but I feel like I need my mom. You know, so like seeing her coming around and not feeling like she has to be in this harsh stance, um, that's what I would invite you to do and, 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 and to give it a little bit of space, you know? And maybe even if you are going to send a text or engage in some way to actually just like honor that part of her and just say, hey, listen, I honor your boundaries at this moment. I honor them and I just want to let you know that. Like, that's it, that's it. Um, and I think that that will actually really kind of help the process, but it's, it's, it's temporary, it's just, it's a very, it's just, it's not having the balance in where she's setting things. So I hope that that serves you well. And I'm sending you so much love and also to her as well. Uh, thank you so much, uh, yeah, okay. Um, hey there, Roxy. All right, we go into now, let's see what we have here. So we got two left here. Hi there, Cosmic Charlie. Everybody, Cosmic Charlie is new. I met Car Cosmic Charlie actually at a local shipping store uh, and I was shipping out crystals and Cosmic Charlie was like, what do you do? And I was like, I sell crystals and I create Oracle decks. And so Cosmic Charlie is new to the community. So everybody, let's welcome them. Uh, would love a card for anything Spirit wants me to hear today. Today is the day. I don't know. That just was what came through. I have no idea. All right. Dark rainbow healing. That is still so funny. I can't get over that with Anne. That's like really interesting. Okay. I deserve joy, infinite sweetness, hummingbird and crown chakra. That's just it. Dark rainbow healing. You deserve joy. Okay. This is the time for you to be in joy today. Um, elevate it really go towards it. You know, I think that you have a lot of strength, dark rainbow healing. The thing with the, the, with the hummingbird is that they can travel over 500 miles. They are one of the smallest birds, but they are so strong. And you've been so strong for a long time that really, I think you're journeying into how to discover, cause this is coming through in the crown chakra of what joy looks like at its highest expression. Perhaps you've been feeling overwhelmed. Perhaps you've been feeling disconnected. A little bit of brain fog is what I'm actually sensing. And so what I have here is like really the time for you to like just really know that number one, you're deserving of joy, but what does joy look like at its highest expression? How does joy actually help me to own my strength? How does joy help me to realize um, the lessons and the wisdoms of all the teachings that I've been through that have been heavier? Uh, and so that's the space that you get to be in today is just to remind yourself that you are so deserving of that. I hope that that serves you well. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, okay. Rain, uh, written by Murphy. I love a card to learn what spirit has to say about the coming week. Took a moment. Love this. I get to be bold. Attitude warrior, ram and solar plexus chakra. I love this for you. You know, this is basically telling me that right now is the time for you to step in, okay? Let yourself be seen, written by Murphy this week. Let yourself really bring in so much of that strength, that, um, that sense of confidence and courage. I, I would actually even in, invite you to take some risk this week. I would invite you to even wear more bold colors. Uh, but that's really the message here is like, it's shifting the attitude of really kind of even asking yourself, you know, why am I deserving to be bold? What can I ripple out to others to ripple back to me by being more in my warrior 
attitude. And so like, it's like getting fired up. I think that this week you may have been feeling a little bit more like sheepish, no pun intended, where now you're stepping into the Ram energy coming up this week of like that fire. Cause Ram obviously also aligns with Aries of being a little bit more direct and being, I think more direct within yourself. Mm, even more honest within yourself and then letting that energy ripple out to all of those around you. I think that that's really, really kind of special. You also feel like you have a strong male figure that's here. That's also just like sees the sense of confidence in you that sometimes you don't always see in yourself and that they just want to share a little bit of love and light onto that. So I hope that that serves you well. Um, okay. I have one more here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. So it's so funny. And now I realize where the Rachel was coming through because now Rachel is here. But it was said followed by Rachel. So for some reason I fixated that and I said Rachel. So now I'm gonna read for Rachel. That's hilarious. I love that so much right now. Okay. All right, so here we go. Hi, I'm Rachel. Right. <laughs> what does the spirit see coming for me? Relationship. Okay. So like for your relationships, like you're like or like, yeah. Okay. Let's just see. Let's just think before I, those sheep can't stand with security on the small legs. Exactly, exactly. I mean, Rachel, we pull a heart chakra card for you when you're asking about relationships. So here we go. <sighs> I nourish my heart, gentleness, softness, sugar glider, and heart chakra. So true story about how I created this particular card and animal and how it channeled was that I actually had a friend of mine that came over that had sugar gliders. And they um, were so cute and small and fragile. And I like just sat with their energy and I started to do Reiki and channel and I got connected to the heart. And so I think that there's, you've gone through a lot. Wow. In relationships with the heart. Um, and you're really learning how to release some of those patterns. Some of that, I don't want to use brokenness, but brokenness. Yeah. Some of that, um, heaviness like you're you're looking to really kind of repair and to like renew and so right now it's like i love this for you because where you're going is relationships is like coming in is more nourishment more nourishment and so in this moment you get to ask yourself nourishment or distraction is this something that nourishes my heart or does it distract me from actually being kinder from being softer from being sweeter and i see that coming through for you of like being so intentional like how do you wish to be taken care of how do you wish to really, what energy exchange do you want to have coming into your heart that also like really kind of helps it to grow, that helps it to thrive, that helps it to feel more confident. And you're getting this at one, 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 which is a, you know, a sign of new beginnings. And so this is a new beginning of not just a relationship, but a relationship that actually supports you in the ways that you are deserving supports you in the ways that you get to be taken care of and you get to feel this 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 it's it's safe for me to just be exactly who I get to be in my in all of my expressions and so I really love that energy for you um you also have a very strong female energy coming through um that just sees you and is like here for you and and really just wanting you to just know that like you deserve the best and so really ask yourself this question right now, Rachel, what is best for Rachel? What is best for Rachel? And I think that when you start to really articulate it, that's what will, will come back and move to you. Hi, hello there, Dancing Feather Healing Raquel. Raquel, I actually really want to do one of these with you. I keep saying that, but I want to see if you want to do next Friday. Um, I would love to. Um, and I know you've been reaching out to me. I've been a little disconnected this week. So I hope that that all served everybody here well. Uh, thank you so much for all joining um i hope that that yeah that served you well i don't know who this woman is but she really loves you wow um so i love you all you're amazing and i hope that you had an amazing free card reading on friday thank you for hanging out with me a little bit even over time um i'm going to head out now and bounce from this live but i love you all and if you have any questions or if anything came through i just dropped a card um you know Feel free to reach out and have a beautiful weekend ahead. I will see you next Friday. Yes. Yes. Actually, I forgot. Next Friday, I have, I, we got this. We got this. So yes, um, I'm going to reach out to you. But I love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. 
Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Okay, much love. Bye everyone, stay inspired. Mm-hmm. <laughs>